Hello, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to create a student account within your Carpenter demo course. So the first step is to navigate to your Carpenter demo course. And once we navigate to this particular demo course, the process of uh, creating a student account or student login is the same in this course as well as other courses that you be, might be uh, managing at your institution. So once we're within the Carpenter demo course, uh, we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom left hand side and we'll locate the section labeled users and groups. Once we're within that particular section, we'll click on users. And basically we'll have the opportunity to create a new user. So once the page loads, it currently tells you who's enrolled in this particular course. And then to create a a new student account for this particular course. We'll click on Enroll User, and then we'll click on Create User, and then that will prompt us to uh, create a new student account. So within the first name, we're just going to leave that student. Last name, you'll be putting your last name. And as we scroll down, once again, the username and password are all going to be the same. So we'll make this student Wyatt. Make the password the same thing, student Wyatt. And then to verify the password, we'll type it in one more time, student Wyatt. Since we come down uh, to the bottom of this particular page, it will prompt us to enter other information, but this is not required for this particular activity. So we'll just leave all those fields blank. And then under Role and Availability, it should default to the student, which as it is currently defaulted to student. Um, leave that as is, and then we'll click Submit. You'll see this will be prompted to enter an email address, but uh, for this particular activity, that is not a required field, and we'll be able to log in with the student account within that demo course, even if we don't have that email field uh, filled out. So we're going to click on OK. And now that student account is created. You can see the username right here, Student Wyatt. So um, basically that completes activity 9 and what we'll be doing in activity 10 is logging in using this student Wyatt account as my username and password, therefore giving us the opportunity to get a student perspective of what Orion looks like on their end. If you have any questions, issues, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me.